Hey there YouTube and CJ Holmes here. Alrighty, well here we are with part 47 of the wreck build. Still working on the stern section. And uh, if you can see here, all the white pieces are um, components that I have made since the last video. Basically a repetition of the techniques that I've used uh, previously. But anyway, here's a uh, Here's a section here that I've made that's going to uh, go here. And the base of a cargo crane, which goes on the port side, right there. And then some starboard side decking and debris that's going to go here. I also have uh, made, I'll put you here for now, made a collapsed wall that's going uh, here, and another uh, section of wall here. It's probably easier to just pick it up with my fingers. Anyway, so that, and also just some miscellaneous stuff. You'll notice that I uh, at least got preliminary painting of the debris field. I think it's coming along pretty well. A couple of areas that I want to work on today. Uh, in the Marshall illustration. Let's see if we can zoom in here. Hello. There, great. All right. So, we have uh, the uh, cranes that have uh, been blasted off the ship. And there's also this one here. And I'm wondering if it is uh, the same crane that goes here. I don't know, but I'm going to make that right now and so I've got some some pieces that I've uh, scrapped from the kit there these are uh, actually a couple of bollards similar to that there I'm gonna sand them down a bit and glue them together and glue them to the uh, crane thing whatever that is called and uh, also the crane itself. So, let's uh, go about building that, huh? We'll move the ship back and work here. Alrighty then. Uh, let me get some glue ready. I'm going to get these parts over here. So, the first thing that I want to do is sand the rounded edges of these bollards down to their flat. You could use any kind of scrap. I was going to punch some uh, circles out of... Uh, plastic, but I think this will do just as well. Cool, let me sand you down. Alrighty then. So first, uh, let me apply some glue to, to this. Glue these guys together. Okay. Looks like there's a shaft or an axle or something that's uh, bent over like that. Okay. 
So I've got that little piece. guys together so I can get that to fit in there all right I'm gonna strengthen that with a little bit of baking soda so I need cement there and sprinkle just a bit of baking soda there okay and then these guys are going to go here glue you together Way too much glue. I'm gonna put some baking soda there. All right, that's gonna go there, kind of like that. So that completes that assembly. That wasn't too hard. Now, uh, another piece that we're gonna build today is a section of I don't know if it's decking or hull plating or what <clears throat> that's going to go here. And it looks as if during the uh, sinking of the stern section, I'm just going to quickly cut out a piece to work with out of my vinyl here. Awesome. Just uh, love how that cutting with the uh, with the tool there just really makes a rough edge. Anyway, this is just uh, um, a piece that I'm going to build from. Anyway, uh, I believe it would seem as if uh, once the uh, stern section fell, there was another piece that landed. And just dropped like a guillotine blade cut through the decking here and uh, so we're gonna build that a few out of the way again now um, I kind of like that section like that Uh, oh, yeah, that might work just like this. All right, so this is going to end up approximately like this, although it's not nearly that that high. So I am going to cut. a section out okay let's rough that up by nipping it off see how that that works we go about 
like this. I think this extension is too much. So let's nip that off. That's about how it is going to go, I think. About like that. Yeah, chop off some more of this. Okay, cool. Now, on the forward facing edge or face, I'm going to uh, add some ribs. Let me go ahead and cut a piece out there. I had a piece, but uh, it's missing now. That should work. Awesome. So, one thing to keep in mind, it appears as if, and I'm going to start right there. Uh, some glue. I think I'm going to pre-cut these. Some of them, it appears as if about three of them are long. We'll see how that works. Hmm. Let's see if I can do this with tweezers. you in place there. And this piece in place. All right. Okay, a couple of interruptions there, but family over toys. Okay, it's still a little stubborn. And I think I want to chop these pieces a little closer. Yep, it's just not wanting to glue.
There we go. So, That, how does that look? I think I want to angle this piece a little more. It's not glued, so it's not wanting to stay, which is fine. Got to paint it first. So I think that is going to be okay there. All right, and I'm going to bend it a little bit. Awesome. Cool. All right, so I will be painting all of this stuff. And while I do that, when I paint this stuff, I'm also going to paint a lot of just miscellaneous small debris. So let me just start cutting pieces. Don't want to lose them. Because there is just such a rain of junk that fell on top of the uh, stern section. Unlike the bow, which is so much cleaner. It, it it landed so much more gracefully. Actually, its descent was more graceful than the stern section because of the uh, the aerodynamics, hydrodynamics. So just the very nature of the shape of the bow and the fact that it was already filled with water when it sank and other factors, I guess. That's why the bow section is uh, relatively intact with lots of recognizable and visitable structures as opposed to the stern. It's basically nobody wants to take an ROV into the stern. Just too much of a mess. I don't know that all of this will be used, but I do want to have a nice uh, assortment of pieces to uh, play with. So, uh, in the next video, I will have all the major pieces glued down. And I did decide to add, I, you probably noticed, I don't know, but I did decide to add one boiler. And uh, at this point, I'm still uh, considering uh, keeping the uh, this piece of rubble removable but we'll see as uh, someone commented hey it's your model do what you want to do with it but I do appreciate your uh, comments and uh, suggestions and uh, and the places where you uh, see mistakes and go, no, 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 that's wrong. I'm uh, always willing to uh, consider 
other people's opinions. Okay, I got this square piece here. I don't know if you've seen, you probably haven't, you've only heard me crunching pieces there. But uh, I'm going to heat up this piece here, square rod. Just bend it. Awesome, just so that I have some twisted stuff to play with. Cool. And there's a piece of uh, stuff from the uh, built up that I've been cannibalizing. Cool. All right, so uh, all of these uh, pieces will be painted. Let me take that and that and that. Gravy. Not you there. So, there's uh, debris off to uh, the paint booth, which translated outside on top of a trash can. And I think that's all the junk I want. Alrighty then. Well, that's uh, progress so far. I'll uh, be posting another video later this week. Thank you so much for your comments, support, and uh, liking, and subscribing, and all that stuff. I really do appreciate it. Um, so there you go. The uh, stern section junk field. All right, until then, hope you enjoyed the video. Have a nice day.